Citizens Glasgow is all about us, us, we people that we need the help and we need like uh, advice how to get the job, how to change our life. I'll be honest, it's made a massive difference. I mean, I had days where I, I was one, wasn't getting up to one, two o'clock in the afternoon being unemployed because there was no need. Thanks to learning about Jobs and Business Glasgow and the fact that they um, they operate from the stadium, I managed to um, get a job here in Hampden Park and the Scottish Football Museum, um, which is like quite amazing really. So what was an idea and sitting behind a desk um, and just thinking, I wish I could be one of those people out there. I am now one of those people out there. And through it, I've had my foot in the door and he said he's fit in the door and I've worked out full-time jobs. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as our six month probation goes well then. You're knackered then. <laughs> what I've been struck by in the, the past uh, few months that I've been Chair of Jobs and Business Glasgow is the fantastic work that's already been done uh, in the city uh, by JBG. There have been great successes in recent years, um, but we're still facing uh, a lot of barriers in terms of employment, especially among those who uh, are maybe from the most deprived backgrounds or who have long-term health and sickness issues. And I think going forward, what we need to make sure is that we are taking a more holistic approach to employability in the city, to take our, our own agenda forward in tackling um, the employment issues and filling the gaps where other providers are, are, are maybe not um, providing at the moment. I'm like amazed to hear that um, you could also meet an advisor at Hampden Stadium which is actually really close to my house and I wasn't aware that there's actually a museum in the stadium until that point and I'd moved here hoping to work in a museum but I'd gradually like uh, got really demoralised and didn't think that would be the case anymore but it's through that connection with Jobs and Business Glasgow that I now have a job uh, in the museum um, which I'm really enjoying and it's sort of crazy how things have changed around. <laughs> So as soon as you're out of work, you just don't feel like you're part of society anymore. Like you kind of feel like you're like all alone, and um, you don't really get chances to socialise. So it's definitely the the social benefit of working as well as something that's been like, yeah, uh, really great for me. I'm doing a six months ILM. Um, I absolutely love it. I mean, I found something that I'm passionate about. I mean, I love the office environment. I mean, I mean, I wasn't too sure at first, but. The confidence that it's gave me, I mean, right. I mean, the slow, I mean, they've made me actually feel quite welcome, I mean, as well, which is really good. Because I used to get up at one, two o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, being unemployed, because there was, there was just, there was too much stress, I mean, I didn't want to go out the door, because I started to become a little hermit, to be honest, um, because it was just, you were scared to open letters, but now, I mean, coming in here, Nine to five. They've actually given me a purpose to get up in the morning. I mean, I mean, and then, I, I mean, and then getting paid is even better because you you look at it and go, yeah, I get paid today. I was absolutely delighted to to visit the um, Blair Tumac House facility um, and to, to to welcome everyone to the opening back in September. Um, I was incredibly impressed with the quality uh, of the facility and it was great to see uh, everything coming together, the partnership with Glasgow Kelvin College uh, and all the hard work that had gone into that from, from JBG staff. I think it's a fantastic model because it's both building on the uh, employability element of the, the Rising Stars programme, um, it's tying that in with the, the training uh, work that obviously Glasgow Kelvin College are providing, um, but it's also contributing towards one of the much needed service requirements in the city going forward which is of course the expansion that we have in, in early years. We were delighted to work with Jobs and Business Glasgow to open a joint facility at Blair Tumwick House which gave us five classrooms so that we could move our full-time childcare provision to Blair Tumwick House so that our learners had the opportunity to have placement experience but also they can see confident practitioners who work for Jobs and Business Glasgow delivering outdoor play as part and parcel of than the curriculum at the Cherkill facility. We think it's crucial that working together, we can offer local people access to the qualifications that will enable them to get sustainable jobs in childcare. And we think that's good for our communities because that creates a fairer community. It, it tackles poverty within our communities, but also it helps the larger Scottish Government commitment to expanding childcare provision. We know that working together, we can have a greater impact for the communities that we serve. 
and we know that effective partnership gives us the best benefits for local people. And I think a lot of the, the work that's being done um, in employability uh, is, is absolutely transferable to um, encouraging people to, to become entrepreneurs, to start their own business. And I think the work that's being done in Jobs and Business Glasgow today, encouraging people um, to, to, to enter that kind of line of work is absolutely key to that. You know, we know that we need to increase the number of entrepreneurs that we have in Glasgow. We know that we need to uh, close that, that productivity gap. Um, and encouraging uh, that kind of growth is going to be absolutely key to that. I do two strands to my business. One of them is um, with my HR um, qualification. I go into organisations and I help them improve people's mental health. And I also write and deliver bespoke training courses. So I can specialise into different people's needs and different organisations' needs and tell them make everything to suit them. My advisor, um, she helped me with everything from filling out forms to um, focusing and keeping focused and um, also giving me ideas of networking events that I should really attend and what I'd benefit from. You know, the, the support team in here uh, has been incredible. I think it's absolutely key that instead of just providing training opportunities, we're actually providing that experience of work. Um, and if we can give people the opportunity to, to contribute to the community, to contribute to public service in the city, um, and use that as an employability um, experience, then that's absolutely something that we need to explore and, and maximise as much as possible. And I'd be, I'd be keen to look at how we can enhance that, that offer uh, in coming years. And I think it's absolutely crucial that, you know, if we are expecting people to take up work, we need to equip them not only with the, the skills and the interview training and the, uh, the CV techniques, we need to actually make sure that they have the right attitude and the right confidence in themselves to be able to take that forward. And, and some of the work that, you know, JBG advisors are doing at the moment is absolutely um, key to that. Well, we're known to the Make Safe programme through Jobs and Business, which is um, for the bereavement services for the council. Headstone checks. Headstone checks. Um, um, we get put through a training programme to get a gantry. It's called a gantry system. It's to lift up and down the stones. I take the stones down safely. Um, it's just a health and safety thing for us to to get them up and down. It could take certain weights and certain heights and that. The wage is good, obviously. I'm hoping to. I've done less driving lessons now before, but I'm hoping to. Obviously, with a bit of stability, can go on the road and get my licence and that now. Ah, oh, I mean, it's 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 good because. Now we can plan, I can save up for a motor and things like that now, knowing that I'm in full time employment. Um, it's just. Go to the pub without tapping money. Ah, well, <laughs> money I'm going to tap you after this. <laughs> <laughs> Get your wallet. <laughs> uh, well, aye, but it's, it's, it's you, you can plan things and I mean, I can get a wee motor. I remember the day when I moved to Scotland and I wasn't sure um, where I would like to work and I wasn't really sure about my English skills. And I say, oh, maybe the best way is just to go somewhere when I will, every day I will meet different people and then I will just get like used to listen like Scottish accent as well. My experience with Job and Business Glasgow was really good. Um, I was really surprised that I get my help so fast because I remember that I just attend for the interview and on the same day I got my message from them that I'm, uh, I'm approved to join the group. Having a job completely changed my life because um, I could just improve my English skills and um, every day is different, you can meet uh, different people every day um, as well plan of the day is completely different. You, you have a chance to make like uh, different activities, um, you can earn some money, you can rent a flat, you can buy a car, you have a money to travel a lot and you can just meet new people in other countries. Open Business Glasgow is all about the clients and I was I have this feeling that they really look at look after me and I always feel that I can get a help from them. I think it's probably the biggest challenge that we face as a city and it's the most important challenge and the most important piece of work that all of us have to do. And um, one of the, the biggest uh, differences between Glasgow and our comparator cities in other parts of the UK is that Glasgow stubbornly has more people um, and a bigger percentage of people who don't have the skills and the qualifications they need to get the jobs that they need 
to support them into having better life chances for themselves and their families and, and for the future generations. So it, it is one of the most important pieces of work that, we, that all of us are engaged in collectively. And it's organisations like Jobs and Business Glasgow that will help to change the culture and change the mindset of the city so that everybody thinks actually I'm entitled to have that opportunity too and I want to get myself in a position where I'm able to grasp it.